Good morning, Rick and Sharon. Um, I wanted to address the the solar system for the house on Hudson, Hudson Trail. Um, I was going to talk about this on the phone with you, but I, I realized it was going to turn out to be extremely confusing if I try to go, th go through these numbers and make sense of it. So I put this together this morning. That's why I'm a little late getting, getting back to you. I wanted to put this together so it would illustrate better for you. Uh, first, I wanted to point out this side here is my personal home bills and we do have a solar system uh, ours is leased and this is the Hudson Trail home now first thing I want to show is that their home is 13.6 percent larger than ours so just keep that 13.6 percent difference in mind and the other difference is they have a pool pump that they have to run to keep the pool clean now I have a friend in the solar business who's been doing it for five six years now and he explains that they calculate every um, every year it's about 2500 kilowatts per year for a pool pump to run so this is two year period so I doubled it to 5000 so if I tack on a pool pump that I don't have to my kilowatt hours this is will be this would be my total 22409 You'll notice that they, over a two-year period, use 35,556, 58.65% more power they used than we used over the same two-year period. So I don't know what they're doing to use so much additional power. I know that the uh, agent explained that they keep their thermostat down to 70 year-round, and that I don't know if four or five degrees makes that big a difference, but it could. The only other thing that I was wondering is they do have a pool heater and if they chose to run that, that could be jacking up their their uh, electricity too, but I'm not even sure if the pool heater is electric or gas, but still, they're doing something that's unusual. This is, this in my experience with my own solar system, it's unusual. Um, just, just this past June, into July, they used 2554. My billing period is a little different, so I had more of July in it, which is a hotter month. I only used 1182, so they used more than double just last month. So unless their air conditioner is not working properly, and this is something obviously we will be checking during the inspection period, there's no reason for this kind of usage. You can look every month. They're ridiculously high compared to what we use. Now, another thing I want to point out is their system because it's a bigger home, their system is actually 36 point, it's producing 36.4% more production per year. There's a 17,210 per year, mine is 12, 6, 17. My home is smaller, but my home is only 13% smaller. There's, they're producing 36 more percent more power, so they should have adequate power to run that extra pool pump, and they should have a surplus. But for some reason, they're actually running in a deficit. Um, what else was I going to point out here? I guess that's about it. I did want to point out, if you happen to look at mine here, this is my bill amount. I normally don't have, I never have a bill. So this, there's a couple months here, two, one, two, three months, where we went over our normal $20 a month bill. And the reason this varies from 1783 to 2004 is because it depends on how many days of the month there are, because it's a connectivity charge per day. So they charge per day. But uh, right here, when I went to 24, 134, and 47, that's because our air conditioner was going out. We didn't know it. It was gradually leaking free on. The home was cooling but we didn't know that the air conditioner was running three and four times longer to keep the home at the same temperature until it stopped cooling completely. And then when we started investigating and we started getting bills, we realized, okay, we had to get the free online fixed. And as soon as we got it fixed, everything went back to normal. Yours should be the same situation. This is why I was wondering if maybe their air conditioner isn't cooling properly. But again, we're going to check that during our home inspection. And if it's not, we're going to require that they fix it, of course. So um, there's not much else to tell. I just wanted to make sure you could have something to look at and you can actually go back and forth on these pages and kind of see what I'm seeing and, and maybe it might explain why for some reason they're actually showing a bill every month because these really should just be connectivity charges. 
So I hope that helps. Um, and I'll be giving you a call shortly, but I wanted to get this over to you first so that you could uh, have something to digest without me babbling over the phone. We'll talk to you guys soon.